Fauci! Dude, please tell me I'm hallucinating. Trump, you buffoon. You sent us through the stupid time machine. I didn't think it was going to send us through when we went in. I thought you had to press a button. Great, just great. Ah, oh, man. Sitting here watching the world is great. I have no cares, no worries, nothing. This really is the life. Ronnie, I want to speak to you. Come to my office. Wow, I've never been asked by him to do anything. Ah, I'm glad you were able to make it. Anyways, let's address some things. I'm sure you remember when Joe used that time machine and ruined everything, right? Dude, I never forget such a big event like that. Everyone was scrambling just to get everything back on track. Why do you ask? Well, it's unfortunately causing some problems for us. When I gave Joe his life back, I have been getting some letters from an old friend. Wait, are you talking about- Don't say his name. That name shall never be said in this great place. Anyways, we're gonna go back a bit. You won a life to Joe by the trap he left in Obama's White House. Now, since the whole timeline was messed up, your death was altered. So you're saying that I could have lived a lot longer if Joe didn't mess with the timeline? Yes, Ronald, yes. Now, let me get to the point. You have to be sent back down there. Hold the truck up. Why are you sending me back down? Ronald, chill out. You'll find out everything you need to do on this little notepad here. Give that to me. How long will this take? Well, I'm not entirely sure, but I will wish you good luck. The wait, what? Denton. No! Ah. Whoa, where am I? Dog, this is some weird looking room that I need to get out of. Holy shoot, that was scary. Okay, I need to focus and read this book Denton gave me. Dear Ronnie, you're probably wondering what you have to do. Well, it's a bit complicated, but I'm sure you'll figure it out. You have to send Joe to the real life timeline where everything is skinny. I know it sounds crazy, but keep reading. A person on the server who goes by the name Mike Pence has a time machine. You can use that to send him to the skinny timeline, but there's a catch. We need to do this nicely and perfectly. So what you'll do is make yourself known to all of the people on the server and slowly become their friends. This process could take a while, but but it's worth it to make it perfect. I trust that you will obey my orders and everything will go as planned. Good luck. Denton. Well, this is gonna suck. All right, I gotta find the town. I'm gonna take a guess and say this way. I could be entirely wrong, but I won't think like that. I'll be very optimistic about this. Ah, oh, man, this new me feels so strange. That's really the only way I can describe it. Trump. It's great to finally have you back, Joey. I really thought my old life was over, but now I finally have it back. Thank you, Denton. Uh, who's Denton? Oh, don't worry about it. Anyways, I think it's time we get this town back in shape. Dude, nothing changed when you left. Oh, really? And that's actually dope. Except for the fact that you destroyed the whole timeline before. Oh, yeah. I kind of forgot about that. Well, luckily, all of that is over now. Okay, if my estimate is correct, the town should hypothetically be over here. Whoa, what is this? It looks like some sort of build was blown up by someone. You know, I'd expect myself to know since I've been watching the world for a while, but nope, I really have no idea what happened here. Anyways, let's go this way. Oh boy, it's my house. I can't believe it's still here. Huh, what is this? Dear Joe, just wanted to let you know that I'm moving. Ever since you destroyed all the timelines, I just felt like it wasn't right for me to have such power near a frail old man. Anyways, if you're reading this at 2.02 p.m., then I should be at my old home for a few more minutes. So if you want to say goodbye, then this is your last chance. Sincerely, Mike. Oh, no, this is all my fault that Mike is moving. I have to stop him. Mike, please tell me you're still here. Joe, you better be here to just say goodbye. Mike, you know I can't do that. Look, I'm sorry for using your time machine and for destroying the timeline. I only wanted to save my friends. Uh, Joseph, I uh, appreciate the apology, but I just feel like this is best for the town. And I, the only reason all of these timelines are breaking is because of me and my machines. I know that you used them, but I was the one who built them in the first place. Mike, don't blame yourself. My stupid brain is the only one in this town that can make a stupid decision like that. So it was more of my fault than yours. I'm sorry, Joe, but I must go. It's for the better of this town. Hey, what is going on down here? Mike, why did you empty your lab? Well, I'm moving away. These machines I built are too dangerous, and I feel as if I need to get them away from everyone. Mike, you can't leave. We finally got our friendship straightened out. I know, and it will stay like that. I just need to leave to stop any more bad things from happening. But Mike! I'm sorry, Trump and Joe. Uh, goodbye, old friends. Mike, wait. Ronald! Ronald, I thought everyone said you went alive. I was, but I have come back to get my life back in order. What, all this isn't making sense? Uh, look, you can't leave. I came back just to see you. You came back from heaven to see me? Yes, Mike. This is crazy. Like, you really just came back to see me? I came back to see the whole town, but my focus is on you now because you want to leave. Since you came back, maybe I will stay. Do you really mean it? Well, if I stayed, I would have to dispose of these machines I have built. It's your call, Mike. The machines are your friends. Mm, all right, fine. I'll stay with you guys. Thank you, Mike. This means a whole lot to me, and I'm sure it means a lot to the town as well. Well, you want to help me move back in? Sure thing, pal. 
And I think that's everything. Thanks for the help, man. It's the least I can do. Anyways, I'm going to find a place to put my house. Hey, I can help you find a spot if you'd like. Oh, that would be very nice of you. All right, just follow me. So what do you think? I think this is great. You are a literal Chad for finding this amazing piece of land, friend. Thanks, Ronnie. All right, I'll leave you to build your house. See ya. All righty, I'll talk to you later. Okay, so it seems they're acting like I'm a close friend. Now I just have to get that time machine. Wait, he's going to dispose of it. I have to find a way to somehow stop him. Think Reagan. Oh, I got it. I have the choice to use fire or lava to dispose of these machines. Hmm. I think I'll go with the fire. Mike, you've got to help Trump. He's in danger. What? What are you talking about? Where is he? He's in Joe's house. I'm coming to help Trump. Thank you, Mikey. Now, it's time for me to send Joe to the skinny timeline. Joe, where are you? I need you. Mm, oh, Joe, free ice creams. They Ice cream? Where's the ice cream? It's right here. Just step on this and it will dispense a chocolate chip cone. Oh, boy, this is going to be some great ice cream. Ah. Uh... Mission complete. Now, I need to find Mike to tell him something. Ah, uh, ouchie. Whoa, what is this place? Whoa, this is a dope house. I'll bid $69 million. You owe me, Joe. Uh, what do I owe you now? You owe me $69 million for the house you wanted to buy. I don't have $69 million, though. Also, where am I? Jokey, did you forget your meds again? We're at the house I just bought for you. But I thought I was just talking to Reagan. Ronald Reagan, Joe. Ronald unalived in 2004. I think you definitely forgot your meds. Here, let's go inside and Obama will feed you your meds. Oh, okay. Now there are two outcomes for this. Outcome one, he'll be forgiving for what I've done. And outcome two, he will be absolutely mad at me. Ronnie, Trump wasn't in there. In fact, I found him and he told me that he was completely fine. Well, I thought I heard him screaming in Joe's house. Ronald, don't lie to me. I would have heard Trump if he screamed. Can you hear him screaming right now? Honestly, I can only hear my generator generating power from my house. But Trump is screaming. Nope, Trump is not screaming. Oh, whatever. I'll go see what he's screaming about since you want to pretend. Trump, what's wrong? My wall. Someone removed a piece of it up. Was that really all you were screaming about? Look, my wall is so important to me. Oh, that's actually so important. Is there any way I can help? Build a little bit higher. This wall will be back in shape in no time. We could have just replaced the one block of... Yeah, but this wall really means a lot to me. Keep going, Ronnie. Dude, this wall is so tall. That looks good, Ronald. You can come down now. How do I do that? Just jump in this little pool of water. Ah. Uh... Wow, you did it. You're a great friend. It's not a problem. Anyways, I better get going. See you, Trump. Hey, don't leave just yet. I want to ask you something. Would you want to take a walk tomorrow? You want to take a walk with me? Well, yeah. I feel like it's been a while since we've really done something together, especially since you unalived a long time ago. Look, let's not reminisce. I think taking a walk would be nice. I guess I'll see you tomorrow then. Yes, sir. All right. What do you guys want from here? Can I have a happy meal with fries? Can I get a happy meal with fries? Okay, what else? Oh, and can I have a Coke with that? Also, add a small Coke to that. Not small, I want a large one. Make that a large instead. Oh man, I can't wait to eat this yummy happy meal. Ooh, don't mind if I do. Hey, stop eating my fries, huh? Look, I still feel a bit famished. You had two quarter pounders in the car. Trust me, Sleepy Joe. You are not still hungry, Trump. You never act like this. What are you talking about? This is how I always act. You're normally a lot nicer. Yeah, a lot nicer than Jill. Uh, see, that isn't something you would say at all. Jokey, I think Obama slipped something in your drink again. His name is Obama, not Obama. All right, whatever, Mr. Smarty Pants. Wow, it's already midnight. That's crazy. Well, I guess I should get some sleep before I go back up tomorrow. Ah, uh, good night, Mr. Wigglesworth. Man, I love to. Ah! What's wrong, Joseph? My blankie. It's gone. Ah! What is that noise? Oh, it's just that box thing with ancient writing on it. Joey, get up. We're heading to Dunkin' Donuts. Ooh, do they have ice cream there? No, but they do have donuts. Oh, I guess that's fine. Ugh, I really don't feel like getting out of bed, but this is the last day, so I will try. Uh, all right, let's get ready for this. Teeth brush, check boots on, check shower. Oh, I don't think I can shower. Ah, uh, whatever. Okay, I think I'm ready for this day. Ah, uh, a little bit of McTrumpies and I'm ready to go. Wait, Trump didn't say where he wanted to meet me at. Oh, there you are. Good morning, Ronald. How was your sleep? Oh, it was quite dandy. How about yours? It was good. Anyway, shall we walk? Of course. Man, this place is beautiful. I know, right? I don't think much has changed, but it still looks really good. Yeah. So how has life been for you? Oh, well, you know, it's just been a sort of bumpy here and there, but I pushed through it because I'm a boss. Well, what about Joe? I noticed he got a bit smarter than before. Oh, trust me when I say this. He has not gotten smarter, and I'm trying to say this in the nicest way possible, but he may have devolved throughout the years. That's, uh... 
That's a bit unfortunate. And honestly, it probably explains why he used Mike's time machine. I actually beg to differ on that one because it really seemed like he was caring about his friends. He may have been caring about his friends, but he still wasn't thinking like at all. True, true. Hey, Trump. What's up, Reagan? Well, um... Ronald, what were you going to say? Oh, I was just going to say that you've matured a bit from the looks of it. I'm glad someone finally noticed. It's been a long and tedious thing I've been trying to adapt to, and now I've almost fully adapted to it. That's great. I'm glad to hear. Man, that breakfast was great. I wonder what the rest of this day holds. Boys, I think it's about time we move out of this house. Wait, what? I just think we can't get much done here, and that's why we're moving. Oh, I'll get it. Hi, I'm looking for a Donald Trump, Joe Biden, and Barack Obama. Hold up, is that you, Josh? You've seen too much. Team, apprehend the suspects. Joe, let's get out of here. Okay, I'm following you, Obama. Put your hands where I can see them. I want my freaking lawyer right now. Josh, where are the other suspects? I don't know. Search the rest of the house. Oh, what is this? Obama, where are we going? Well, you can take a look for yourself. Uh, it looks like an old house. It's not just an old house, it's our old house. I don't remember this a single bit. Come inside. Welcome to the old casa. Wow, this place looks nice. Uh, uh, wait, what is that? Boys, please help me. Wait, is that you, Reagan? It is me. Now, please help me out. Uh, help you out of the game. No, help me out of these nuts. Yes, help me out of this game. Uh, how did you get in there in the first place? Well, me and Trump were playing on the Minecraft server, and some mysterious dude showed up behind me. I don't remember anything after that besides being here. What Minecraft server are you talking about? Joe, you should know which one I'm talking about. It's the war server. Uh, wait. I remember now. Why am I in real life? I knew it. Me and Trump knew there was something off about you. You knew about him not being your timelines, Joe. Open the freaking door. We followed you with this tracking device you left at your house. Oh, shoot. You guys need to go. Not without you. I'm taking you with me. Okay, let's go. EBI, come out with your hands up. Wait, where are they? Yeah, baby, we're out of there. Yes, sir. Ronald, thanks for letting us know about this car. Mr. EBI agent, I'd like to know why you guys are taking me in. Well, the timeline is breaking, and unfortunately, you guys were involved in the incident. But we've never owned a time machine, nor have we ever touched one. Look, I'll cut to the chase. Joe definitely used a time machine. There's no denying it. And now, we need to find him so we can send him back. So you're telling me that the Joe, who is our friend, is not actually our Joe? I know it's a hard thing to accept, but we still kind of want to run some tests to solidify the EBI's statements of him not being from this timeline. Honestly, I will help you guys find him, but I want your trust. Oh, you want our trust? Just follow me. Josh, there's someone I want you to meet. Hold up, it's Trump. Look, I want to help you guys find Joe. This guy told me everything about the situation. Arnold, did you tell him about Bill? I wanted to leave that for you to show. Trump, watch this video. Josh, before I go, I want you to make a promise to me. Yes, Bill? Find the man that is doing this and send him back for good. I will find the man who is causing all this. Arnold, let's go. Yes, sir. I, I don't know what to say. Trump, with your help, we can stop the guy who is behind all of this. All right, I think... Ah! Uh... Wait, there's Joey. You'll never take me alive. Joe, wait. I'm making a deal. Wait, what are you talking about? Well, before I go into detail, Josh, I'm putting my trust in your operation. Trump, what are you doing? He wanted to capture us. I wanted to capture Joe, not you guys. The only reason all of this is happening is because of Joe using the time machine. An unaliving Bill. I don't know what you're talking about. Joe, we can run some tests to see if you're really this timeline's Joe. I don't trust this one bit. Team 5, don't let him escape. Obama, please don't run away. And I won't, because the theory we had was true. The one about McDonald's meat? No, I'm talking about the one about Joe acting different. No way! I didn't think that was true. Yeah. Uh, did you tell Josh about it? Tell me about what? Josh, I caught him. I'm gonna put him in the temporary cell for now. Very good. All right. What were you going to say? Oh, I was just going to say that Joe has been acting a bit odd, so I don't know if that helps with your research. Yeah, that sort of helps. Oh, I have to get the tester ready. Trump, why didn't you tell him? Because I love this Joe. He's half nice and half dumb. I agree, but if he stays here, the universe might be destroyed. I don't care. He ain't leaving. Trump, stop right now. Oh, geez, you're a heavy son of a gun. Wait, what is ah! that? Ah! Ah! Ouchie! Dude, please tell me I'm hallucinating. Trump, you buffoon. You sent us through the stupid time machine. I didn't think it was going to send us through when we went in. I thought you had to press a button. Great, just great. Welp, how does this even work? I think you just move your legs. Whoa, it's all blocky. Oh my gosh, what happened to everything? Dude, is this really the place you lived in? This used to be the place I lived in, but it's all different. What happened? Has it always been like this? It's never been like this. Actually, it was like this when I broke the timeline before. Wait, are you saying... 
that you... Ah, uh, every time I'm involved with everything, something always goes wrong. Joe, please don't run away. Or what? Am I going to ruin more things? You're not going to ruin anything. Donald, just let him go. We have to get back to our timeline. Arnold, I am not leaving Joe here. Trump, you're going to destroy the universe. Just let it go. I never should have used that time machine. I wish everything was back to how it originally was. Whoa, am I asleep again? Joseph. Who's there? It is me, the editor. Thanks to everyone on screen for becoming a member. Also, thanks for watching.